The crunch of shoulder pads on a tackle adds to the excitement of high school football on a Friday night. But under pandemic conditions, that's about one of the only details that remains unchanged. If you take a look at the stands, only parents are allowed to watch and they have to keep their distance from each other. Under the circumstances, that's just fine for parents who are excited to see their kids enjoy a little bit of normality. Never endured anything like this, so just to see them, you know, be back and participating with other students, it's uplifting in their spirit, so I'm just happy for them. Cesar Totola is here to support his son, number six on the field for Aragon High School, but parents aren't allowed to cheer as a precaution against potentially spreading COVID-19. The cheering has to be left up to the cheer squad, and as of today, they are allowed to be at these games. We've been on, like, pins and needles trying to find out if the rules are going to change by this weekend, and found out 2 p.m. today that we were able to cheer. The cheer team is allowed to be here, but they can't be near the audience, and they have to be away from the team, and they have to be at least six feet away from each other and anyone near them. The cheerleaders have a spot at one of the end zones where they can be heard by the team and the audience. It's unusual, but it's acceptable. Just being able to be here and have just like somewhat like finish off my senior year with on a high note with my team is just amazing. Friday night lights in spring is better than none at all. In San Mateo, Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News.